Hello all, it's James Johnson aka Sulfur Blade. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the Great Houses of Galdaria. Alright, in the last episode we had won a new title. Uh, what else happened? We got we got Geneva married, and so now we have a new member of the family, Ciro down here, who has taken up a job inside of our town, uh, leading the Masons, which has helped to spur city growth. So now we have an eco. And Spiro, or Ciro, excuse me, both contributing towards improving the town. Um, yeah, so things are improving. So we got a solid supply of materials coming in, which seems to be a pretty important thing. Uh, as well as good food to keep the town growing. That being said, we're gonna unpause it and we're gonna see what what things befall us today. Unread messages? Beefdom has reached population cap. Has it really? Yeah, we're at eight of eight. We need a new building to grow. We need to build something then. Oh, we are building something. We are building quarries, which isn't going to grow the town at all. Well, that sucks. Um, herdsman. No, that won't grow to the town. We can't get to this until we... Stone walls. Stone walls seems like the, what we need to grow the town. That or upgrading to the next level keep. Five hundred materials. Gold production halted for the construction duration. Interesting. Yeah, I think we need to go about acquiring more materials so that we can build the stone wall so we can continue our city growth. That is going to be the focus of this episode, which means trading. We need to trade with people who are generating materials. I'm not sure that's our, that our count is that person, and I clicked on the wrong thing, didn't I? Uh, trade? Oh, wait. No. They've got a, a fair bit of materials over here. Okay, well that's going to work in our favor. 
What do they not have a fair bit of? Gold. Stack maybe. That would get us enough material, but I'd like to have a little extra. Do it all in gold. How about a little livestock? A little bit of crops. And the rest gold. And let's get our teas over here. He's our trader. As plans for materials. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work. They seem to have plans for their materials. <laughs> Alright, who else might we trade with? Now, this might be better for us. Where's our teas? Right here. So far, nothing major. We want to have 280 at least. Let's go with, say, 300. Probably get away with crops. Try some livestock. And gold. Preposterous trade suggestion. Um, what things do you like the most? Has more than enough livestock. Okay, so they, they, they don't want any more livestock. Closer here.
caravan capacity 200. Five trips of the min duration it would take. Okay, proposal 12 balance, expect deal relations improved or worsened. Buyer has stubborn, buyer has wary, buyer has fickle, seller has miser. We have 900 resources. We can carry 200 at a time, so we can go up to a thousand without changing the five trips. I want to try to stick a little bit more over to see if we can't. Sweeten the deal. Trade valuation relations. So what I'm looking at is it says... Come on. relations improved or worsened. I've seen it where it basically said relations improved a lot or just improved. I think we're giving them a good deal because we want to try to improve relations. We, we want to give them a better deal than not. Um, and we can afford the 650 food, I believe. That's our, that's our primary um, production material, if you will. We're going to go with this. It's a fair trade. Trade delegation. Both Artis Pendragon and Amaya Galan seem to be on good terms with the trade deal. However, Artis Pendragon sees an opportunity for something more. Offer them a discount to better your relations. Try to persuade them to pay slightly more. No need to sell you a good deal, shake hands on it. Yeah, no need to sell you a good deal. Just shake hands on it. Both parties sign their copies of the agreement without complaints. Iagalan compliments Artie's Pendragon for being straightforward to trade with. House Pendragon and House Galan plus six opinion of family relations. We didn't have to do the damn fight. Excellent. I like that. <coughs> Okay, in the short term, we're losing some food because it calculates the trade as outgoing. Bad omen. Amir Pendragon has arrived at court. Has arrived to court or a Fortana. At the day of his arrival, a blackbird was found dead on Aura's windowsill. 
aura sees it as a bad omen. How should a mirror dispel such beliefs? Excuse me. Intrigue, intrigue, intrigue. So no, no matter how we look at it, we're not, this is not a favorable. So we're going to try to appeal to logic. Okay, so we failed. Village market. Artis travels through a village during its daily market. He notices some good deals. Maybe there is something to send back home. Buy crops. Purchase salted meat. Look, there is even a horse. One horse for 40 gold. Our kingdom for a horse. Seems to be a fair amount of wars going on. Barnaby declared war on Mancato. Pregnancy. What is this? Uh, Beta and Aniko are expecting another child. Beta, are you sleeping around on your husband again? Crop deficit due to trade. Yeah, I'm not concerned about that. It'll be fine. A mirror pen dragon is unmarried. Tell me something I don't already know. Um, diplomacy, courtship. Yeah, Countess, count, count, fairness. Forty four. Come on, hover over. Sixteen. Hey, here we go. Here we go. should be able to build whatever we're trying to build now. 
don't even I think it's city walls right stone wall kind of same difference that'll give us plus two city size it's gonna halt our gold production for a while but we need to do it Overseeing. There's been an accident in the farmers, and one of the workers got badly hurt. Now the workers are demanding safer working conditions. Nico Pandragon is shocked by the accident and feels that it is his duty to do something. Okay, diplomacy, economy, intrigue. Economy, he's terrible at economy. Intrigue and economy. Alright, we're gonna have to listen to the workers' concerns, it seems like. The workers have a lot of complaints, and Eco Pendragon is worried that the next accident is just around the corner. He creates new guidelines which makes the work safer, but as a consequence, productivity decreases. Farmer's productivity changes by minus 10% for 90 days. Safety has decreased. Well, that's BS. Why has safety decreased? We, we, we took a production hit to our food to enact these things that are supposed to make things more safe. This should have gone up, or at least stayed the same. <coughs> Duel of Hearts. Okay, Amir has come to visit Miriam with the intention of courtship. Amir knows that Miriam is well versed with weapons. He challenges her in a friendly duel with an intention to have more intimate time afterwards. How should Amir fight? Um, fight for the win. Miriam fights with excellent skill and delicate posture, enchanting Amir. The sweaty duel comes to a climax when Amir suddenly pushes Miriam off guard and makes the finishing hit on her. She yells from frustration, not predicting Amir's counterattack, but at the end bursts into laughter with Amir telling him how well thought the attack was. They look at each other and take off to somewhere more private to continue this fevered conversation. Um, plus 11 respect, plus 10 respect, plus 2 romance. We're okay, we're, looks like we're off to a good start. A new child is born. Beta Pendragon has given birth to a new member of House Pendragon. Are we sure it's a member of House Pendragon? Congratulations. So we have two young kids down here. One of them's already three. My how time flies. Seriously. Something doesn't seem right here. If the the whole title thing where you're you're getting a title and isn't that yearly? I haven't been up for a new title 
but yet this kid is already three years old. I I feel like there's there's a disparity with age going on. Like people are aging faster than than time is progressing. <clears throat> oh, uh, official visit. Oh, it's Dahlia Zavada. Pays an official visit to Ciro Pendragon. Ciro Pendragon's fiefdom and wants to see the surrounding city. She is especially keen on seeing different production sites to see how our economies could integrate better, she explains. To ensure intentions are sincere, Ciro um, to generic eight scholarship to generic suggests seeing an accountant instead, collective diplomacy accompanies her personally comparing diplomacy and economy asks a few questions intrigue um, let's accompany her personally after a day spent observing Dahlia Zavada, Ciro's suspicions are gone. He is convinced of his guest's intentions and that the visit will be advent advantageous for both families. Ciro, Dahlia, plus 19 respect. House Zavada, House Pendragon, plus 20 opinion of family. House Pendragon, House Zavada, plus 5 recent visit relations. What is this? Why are our relations down to minus two? Seriously, we have done nothing but improve our relations through the entire game. Oh, we're still paused. What was that? Thought I saw an army over here. I thought I saw a putty tat. I know I did see a, some sort of army thing. Is that an army or just a person? Uh, probably just a person. Strange voice in the dark? Ciro wakes up to a clanging sound in the middle of the night. He sharpens his ears to hear talking accompanied by faint footsteps in the hallway. He stops breathing and tries to focus on what they're saying. The sound approaches his door. Well, he is a master of intrigue. Check the hallway. Wait, misfortune? Bad luck and problems follow you. Ignore the noise. Sure is confident that nothing is out of the order. The footsteps and chatter are just servants cleaning the hallway and guards making the rounds. He calmly turns over. Knowing the castle routines are running as they should, it goes back to sleep. Zero Pendragon gains confidence. A date at the theater. Amir was told about a traveling theater troupe playing at Bergina. He decides to use a performance as an excuse to spend some time with Miriam. Okay. Uh, the whole theater thing once more. Can we 
repairing military, repairing diplomacy, intrigue. So, either mock the troop, praise their ingenuity. Let's mock the troop. A mere comments on the miserable efforts of the actors to critique on society and the upper class doesn't go down well with a mirror. He feels that making fun of the stupidity of commoners doesn't carry the story enough to keep him interested to the end. Miriam agrees with some of the criticism, but she liked the actors mocking the commoners at burgers. They both agree that laughing at the emperor is tasteless and vulgar and should definitely be censored from the play. Amir and Miriam plus 15 courtship, Miriam and Amir plus respect, Miriam and Amir plus infatuation. Okay, so things are going well. Ortiz Pendragon is done with his trading. Investigate an incident. Amir has heard multiple reports about someone trying to spread false rumors in Camelot. Why is Dahlia Zabata's picture showing up here? This is most likely the act of foreign spy. How much effort should Amir make to find the identity of the spy? So it's it's more than likely Dahlia who's behind this, huh? And why does our relations keep going down. going to keep an eye out. Production change by minus 5% for all productions for 30 days. Try to find the perpetrator? The hell? What is going on here? Our family opinion is just absolutely tanking over here. Elderly? Happy birthday, Ina is now elderly. To capture her legacy, the portrait will be renewed. You have seen many friends and enemies, and you have experienced earthly burdens and pleasures. Anum's winds will now carry you forward. Happy birthday. Hint that she should leave. Follow her stealthily. Schemer, isolationist.
you know I feel like she's up to something at this point and he is our best intrigue character she's really good at intrigue but he's even better we're gonna go for it but she doesn't seem to be doing anything out of the ordinary Suspicious activity. There is evidence of activity related to causing slander, but Amir Pendragon was not able to find any leads about who gave the order, nor catch the spy that carried it out. Alright. Let's go here and maybe we need to assign someone to the to the burg. Um, not me, I'm too busy doing stuff. Ina is lazy. I don't think she would make a good. Nothing really changes here. Wages might go down a little bit. Okay, what about Ginebra? That would increase wages. Beta? Uh, wages go down. City growth goes up. Uh, there'd be an improvement to happiness, evidently. Or why that is. What's going on with Beta? Uh, she's got good diplomacy. That might be what it is. And RTs would drastically lower wages, but he would have a negative effect on city growth. Alright, Beta. Let's get you overseeing things going on in the castle. Maybe that'll help improve our safety rating. Get things back on track here. Hunting for equipment. Ambar Pendragon is granted an opportunity to attend a hunting trip with Ciro Galan. As a squire, Ambar is responsible for his equipment. Deep in the hunting grounds, Ambar realizes the gear is nowhere to be seen. How do you lose the gear? What now? Borrow gear? Make up an excuse? Confess and beg for forgiveness? Your intrigue, their military. Comparing intrigue. Your diplomacy. This actually my diplomacy is is fairly decent. But it's compared to their military. So eleven to fifteen, borrow gear. 11 to 15, make up an excuse. 11 to 9? Their diplomacy. Oh, 11 to 5. Okay, we're making up an excuse, evidently. Ambar makes a convincing argument for letting the other hunters have a chance this time while they can just enjoy the trip. Miraculously, Ciro is convinced by it. 
zero amber plus eight shame All right family member can marry not available why not available investigating an incident. Amir has heard multiple reports about someone trying to spread false rumors in Camelot. It's most likely the act of a foreign spy. Alright, let's try to hire someone. What the hell? N n <laughs> it keeps showing Zabata in the picture. Which. And. W what has happened? Why is our opinion over here completely tanked? We were, like, the best of friends. What the hell? Slander campaign. Oh, this is getting ridiculous. There is evidence of activity. to do here. But I do want to get married. What? Hey, where am I? Why am I not available? God damn it. Seriously, why am I not available? Alright, ask if she's interested in architecture. What is going on that I'm not available? Send a member of your house to be a guest at the wedding. Can I pick somebody else? What about our teas?
where and what am I doing? Bars 15. She's almost old enough to do something. This this false rumor bullshit is getting annoying. Amir will be occupied with investigating the incident. A longer investigation increases the chance of catching the spy. I'm not going to investigate it. I need to get married. devil is going on here? Okay. What? No. <clears throat> it, I, we were... Uh, I'm getting frustrated, guys. I'm definitely getting frustrated here. It would be wrong towards your husband. Or a support demand? Our ally, House Salvatore, Demands that we help them in their war. Declining might cause bad relations between the families. A war against who? That would be good to know. Except we are at war now. Who are we at war with?
Fortuna. Okay, I think we're gonna need an army. Is Artiz back from whatever he's doing? No, he's still doing the whole wedding thing. Stopped by army? Army led by Aura Fortano stops Ambar Pendragon on the road. Aura does not let her pass unless Ambar explains her mission. Ambar pays large ransom of nothing? Population has increased to nine. Elderly. Inigo Pendragon's now elderly. Yes, I need to raise an army. Oh, for fuck's sake. Zambar Pendragon grown up. No. I wouldn't mind raising an army. Where is my marshal? Artiz? Where is our tease? Over here. Don't load. Happy birthday, Ambar. Finally, they're both available. And Artiz is arriving back. And our Count still bloody hates us. Because of all these slanderous accusations, I take it. And I don't know who's behind the slander. And it doesn't seem like there's anything I can do about it. Okay, raise an army. Artis. Pole extras. What is, what's their deal? Upkeep is food, maintenance, and... What is that icon?
luxuries, maybe? 0 0.05. Compared to peasant militia, five and ten. All right, well, we don't want to spend too much money on this war. Four and four is eight. And two is ten. Why is it showing eleven? Does RTs count as a unit? I guess he must. Good against pikemen. As range attack, we melee skill. Alright, raise the army. And if we click on our army, there we go. Um, Off our army, army marches. Child. Happy birthday, Karamea. Turn 5 is now eligible to become a ward. Happy birthday. Alright, well... Used to pay taxes. Okay, you seem like you've got good stats, though you're wrathful, arbitrary, and cunning. Let's see how that goes. Okay, a mirror and Miriam sit across from each other at a private dinner table. Blah 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 blah. Try to convince Miriam to join House Pendragon. A mirror. No, we are not happy. Try to convince her to join House Pendragon. Fifteen opinion. Da, da, da. House Pendragon gains the right to manage the marriage. Gains spite other fiefdom. Okay. Next. One, 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 one. She's got 
47 health and 4.6 attack. Got 36 health and 4. Point Why is everybody so much better than me in this damn mini game? I mean, she's like 16 years old or something. This is the one we really want. Accountant here, go there, you go there. I screwed up. Get over here.
Okay, how are we doing here? Alright, we won. <clears throat> so let's arrange that wedding ASAP. meat and aura for Tano seven units meet and prepare to clash power are well matched and the outcome can't be foreseen charge all right this is our first time fighting this type of battle um, forest Reward effects. Plus 20% per attack to archer units. Defense bonus to units. Reward effect. Infantry units become faster. A reward effect. Defense bonus to units. Choose your companions. Well, they're all chosen. There's no turning back. Start military conflict. Um, right, what do we got here? A poleaxer and an archer. Cavalry, Peasant Militia, Aura Furtano, and a Poleaxer. Alright, well we're gonna go Peasant Militia and an Archer. Peasant Militia and an Archer. I'm gonna throw in one of these pull axers over here with me.
Get an archer up here. A dozen militia. Get an archer to back us up. What's going on? Where am I? Have I been defeated? Seriously. God, this is not going well. Why aren't these guys moving? That's whooped. Infantry units become faster. Plus 20% attack time. Uh, units dead. Where's our ally that got us into this war?
Jesus. Stopped by army. The army has arrived at your fiefdom. Soon a battle will ensue. Drag family over here to add to the army. Wounded. What about the army we already had raised? Losing effect, House Furtano conquers House Pendragon's fiefdom. That sh certainly wouldn't be good.
move. Move. Need you to move forward. Need you to move forward. She's so strong. Huh. 
She's like a superstar. Ortiz, are you still wounded? Ambar, you get to raise a army this time. <sighs> and a cheap army it shall be. She's got 20 frickin' military. Okay, we gotta hold the city gates. Archer entering over on this side. Who's that? Uh, looks like an archer. Oh. 
Did we win? We must have won. Clicking on zero takes me to beta? Why? Actually... Uh oh. Um, zero, get back to work. And <clears throat> we have four farmers now. We might want to change that. A miner, maybe? Ah, uh, yeah, metal ore, that's what the pikemen are using, not luxuries. Accompanied by our guardian. Guardian has decided that Carmine Pendragon should show her skills. What should Carmine Pendragon do to make a good first impression? Show her talent with a practice sword, I guess. It doesn't matter. It's all 3-3 three, three or 3. Welcome to Oras, young woman. We have a skilled sword master who will teach you. Your family has acquired a new tradition, never a pawn 
rank power delegations locked. Family members get proud trait. Get 75 points of power and rank selection. Idealists or schemers? Where do I keep going further down this? Keep costs reduced by 50%, bow to no one. Not implemented, every caravan passing through the land will gain. I give 5% of its content. Ranks of Caldaria. Pregnancy. Okay. I feel like we should accomplish this send somebody to court thing. Who are we going to send to court? The adulterous beta pen dragon. Hey, she's actually assigned to our Borg. Geneva. Yeah, I think. Or Ina. Lazy, sociable, humble, proud.
Target is betrothed and awaiting it. Can't send characters and armies. Characters can't be on other delegations. Toddlers can't be sent. Target must be head of house or region. House relations need to be at least zero. Target is not home, only adults allowed. Okay, it's because our relations are so crap. Blood is thicker than water. We've already done these things. ABC is a diplomacy. You have successfully acquired the basic skills in the art of diplomacy. You are now on the better side of those who, who fool and those who are fooled. New objectives unlocked. Excellent. Blood is thicker than water. You have now learned the importance of marriage. Blood bonds are stronger. New objective unlocked. don't like being at war with these people death zero pendragon age 35 has died of his wounds are you kidding me we needed him okay Okay, there's an army on the move over here. Who's leading it? Aura, of course. Hmm. Should we wait for them to get over here and then send an assault on their city? Might not be a bad idea. Three peasant militia, two cavalry units, and an archer. I guess we'll impress them with your skill of skills. Join and negotiate departure or okay, save journeys.
Empire. Should you continue, that army will disband immediately. <sighs> Ortiz is still wounded. I don't want to mess with him. Beta is assigned to our Borg. Ginebra is away. Ina. Our lazy Ina, I guess, is going to have to do it. <laughs> Stopped by army. the army go? Did it get too far away that I can't see it? There it is. Alright. Ambar Take your army and go. Uh, family members old enough for wardship. Carme Pendragon. I guess we'll continue to improve our relations with these people. We've arrived. Wait, win a war. I guess the war is over. Buy wine. Sure, by the wine. Did the army immediately disband? Where's Zambar? Is she doing nothing? Yes. 
All right, so we lost an important member of our team here. Is there somebody new that can take place? Is Ambar qualified to accomplish anything over here? Okay, it's not going to improve city growth, but it'll improve materials. And wages go down quite a bit. Production increases. All right, we'll put him bar in charge. Carmay Pendragon, accompanied by her escort, has been sent to Marnico to become the ward of Eleanor Salvatore. Upon arrival, Carmay Pendragon finds a ring on the floor. It looks very expensive. The escort wonders what should be done with it. Leave it be. Hmm. Our relations seem to be improving. All the slander is going away slowly but surely. Life event. Eniko Pendragon is lonely. He finds his contemporaries in court dull and hopes for a connection with his wife. Unfortunately, Beta Pendragon spends most of her spare time socializing with female courtiers. She's always busy hunting, exercising, or philosophizing. Eniko understands that marriage doesn't obligate Beta Pendragon to show any affection or spend time with him. The only option is to become interesting enough for her. Eniko considers different options to attract her attention. Ask for help fencing. That he's a poor fencer and wants private lessons to avoid humil humiliation. Beta Pendragon agrees with the idea but assumes the role of a partner more than an instructor. Plus seven romance, plus two respect. Ginebra is unmarried. I'm not even going to bother with her at this time. Well. No. Ambar, however, is decent age. Thought we were paused. A new child is born. Now Beta is a child making machine, huh? She's 47 and she's still kicking out kids. Congratulations. Kind 
Count Bargello, Count Sabata, Baron Kudo. Baron Vega, Baron Nueva. Yeah, let's check out Kudo. Arbitrary, reckless, worried, dissatisfied. Got pretty good skills. He's he's got really good military. You are relieved of watching over the Masons. So we're competing against the shell and this. This is somebody nearby. I recognize this one. This might even be our neighbor. Yeah, it is our neighbor. <clears throat> How should Embar Pen Dragon proceed with their guest? Collective military, comparing military, your military, their military. Collective diplomacy, 
remain cautious. Your intrigue. You go on a hunting trip. You can't keep up with the rest of the hunting party and get lost in the forest. Ambar locates them quickly. But after this misfortune, Isaiah is less keen to talk about cooperation. All right. Something in the fog. Ambar's retinue are sailing on the ocean. When the sailors notice something in the misty horizon, they tell Ambar that something large and ghostly is floating in the water. She thinks about what it could logically be. While remembering stories about great ships that have vanished during their travels when sailing through dangerous waters, there's also a rumor of pirates raiding ships on their trade journeys. Ambar ponders whether they should steer off course and check the shadow or continue the journey as planned. Well, our isolationist ways would have us send a small party to check the sighting. Okay, Ambar is naive. She's gentle and a miser. She's learned and proud. Learned, proud, and naive seems like a, a dangerous combination. I'm thinking, just from a roleplay perspective, that the proud nature, the learned, she's curious. She's young, she's curious, she's only 17, she's proud, she's thinking that she's indestructible, she's going to sail to check the sighting. The crew follows the orders and after a while they reach the wreckage. There are barrels floating on the water along bodies of an un lucky crew. Ambar sends some of the men to collect everything valuable and check if there's anyone still alive. They come back with treasures and bad news that no one has survived. Ambar decides that they will make sure all the souls are in peace as they are given the sailor's burial at sea. Okay, we got some wine, we got luxuries. Ambar Pendragon gained the tra Tranquil. Now, why did she somehow end up in a meeting with Baron Fortano? Didn't I send her to go get married with Baron Kudo? That confuses me a little bit. But we will continue on. Bad Omen. At the day of arrival, a blackbird was found dead. How should Ambar dispel such beliefs? Appeal to logic. Comparing intrigue. Comparing intrigue. Comparing intrigue. We're going to appeal to logic. Bardo is still unsure about how he feels about the omen, but shares this with Amber. They have a long talk about it. Both agree their possible future should not be judged by a dead bird alone. Ambar and Bardo, plus 15 courtship relations. House Kudo, House Pendragon, plus 5 recent visit.
life event. Ina Pendragon grazes over the fiefdom and feels empty. What is the purpose of us cultivating and fighting over this paradise? She can't even concentrate on daily matters and is desperate to ease her mind. What should Ina reach? Who should Ina reach for help? A priestess for insight, a philosopher for wisdom. Guess priestess through the sky and earth, da -da -da -da, shadow, everything makes sense. Gains the trait carefree, gains the trait zealous. So carefree lowers her intrigue in her economy, gets her one extra diplomacy, and takes away a man. That was overall terrible. Date at the theater. Mock troop is based off of comparing military. Praise their ingenuity is based off of diplomacy. And that's off of intrigue. Intrigue is our closest stat. We're only one down in intrigue. Uh, Ambar asks Bardo how he liked the play. Ambar tries to push Bardo to describe his feelings. They stay silent. Turn home following days, there seems to be no common ground. Ambar Pendragon gains a trait irritated. We've seen this before. Uh, Spend Dragon Courtship rejected. Da da da. The last time I picked that option, that's exactly what happened. <clears throat> All right, let's go back to view. Masons need someone in charge. Now that Ina's got better diplomacy, could she do anything decent here? Production goes down. Wages stay the same. Happiness does not improve. Okay, so Ina's a no-go. Ginebra, can she do anything? Production stays the same, wages go up, city growth does not improve. And bar production improves, wages decrease. Lucia Fortano. Appeal delegation. Captain of Refinement.
married. Unmarried head of household. Hmm. I'm smelling opportunity here. We're going to endorse them out of generosity. And... Diplomacy. What do you mean courtship's not available? Maybe I have to wait for this guy to return back here. Tenno. Company him personally. What's going on down here? The Viceroy is... Looks like the... Oh, might be chasing the bandits. If I can get a baron to join my house, would that mean that I would have two baronies? So how's the chase of the uh, bandits going? I see lots of armies on the map. Hey, we've got positive relations again with our count. War support demand. Really? Again? Who are you at war with this time?
I wish I could see who they're at war with. Again, I seriously. <clears throat> Court librarian. You know what? I will. Baco surprised Amber with an invitation to participate to a luxurious dinner at sunset in his pavilion. Amber can't miss this opportunity. Baco looks radiant. Talking with him makes Amber happy. Your intrigue, their intrigue. Your diplomacy. Your diplomacy. Intrigue is the smaller. Gains <laughs> the trade blunt. Well, that adds to our military. Hire new workers as observers. Speaking of city growth, Got the resources. Gold production will be halted. 125 days. Unlocks Scholar. Improves resource production. Adds a slot to, I guess, the Borg. Adds to city size. 
takes away a safety point. How is our quest for the title going on? Seems we're still ahead. Let's go talk to the Duchess. I think we still have decent relations there. Or maybe we should go over here to Baron Florel. Since we're supporting Florel, maybe Florel can support us. Official visit, courtship, interview, intrigue, military trade. Huh. I'm not getting the option I want. Can't send never upon. Well, crap. Wonder how the battle's going down here. Saw a lot of armies heading their way. Population is increased by ten. What is this? Grapes. Start generating some grapes. Not sure what we use grapes for, but. Nope, they're on the warpath. Battle must have went well. RT is no longer wounded. Good. Vanish quietly.
unlock companions. We might have to raise an army. I saw something here coming our way. Yep. Lucia Fortano. What do we know about her? 4.6 attack. Is there a way to, I don't know, see more than this? Destination Camelot. There is an army RTs. That's you. Pole axer. Is to replace our losses here. What are they good at? Army has been raised. Head that way, please. Army is beat. Right, she's only 14 militarily, so maybe she won't be as much of a superman as the last Fortano we fought at, fought with. She's over here with an archer. The horseman is here with a pikeman. And we have a archer by himself. Theoretically, a peasant militia 
deal with this archer all by himself. I get an archer in here. I'm gonna put myself there. Of these guys down here. And you can go here. You can go there. Rally powerful chirps, rally chirps. Cruel, when activated, next attack will be avenge for the next 10 seconds. Get plus 5 attack and plus 5 health for every friendly unit that has died in the battlefield.
is this and why? Alright, we win. I wonder if we got wounded in combat. Probably did. Are we gonna die from it? Hey. Where are you going? How is it that their units are still alive? Camelot Sawmill. Actually, you're damaged. Maybe you can pull it off anyway. Um,
And we didn't kill any of their units. My unit died, but their units don't die. I don't know about this. Happy birthday, Celine is turn five and is eligible to become a ward. Boy, I sure have a lot of females. Like a flower in the first rays of spring, your hearts start to open to see the world around you. Enjoy these precious moments and seek to learn from them. Death. Ina Pendragon has died of seemingly natural causes at age 55. She will be missed by the family of Pendragon. Geneva is frustrated because she kept a pledge to attend a wine and dinner party hosted by a local merchant family. However, the party turned out to be a socializing event with lower class burgers. And feeling awkwardly annoyed, Geneva considered finding a way to leave. How should Geneva proceed in this situation? Diplomacy. Diplomacy. Vanish quietly. Diplomacy. Party diplomacy. I'm just gonna vanish quietly. In the trade sly. Elderly. Amir is elderly. <clears throat> Did Amir ever get married? Good question. I know. Amira will begin the journey. Build a keep. We have an army of Furtano on our doorstep. Two poleaxers and a peasant militia. Sally forth and meet them. Artis Pendragon's army has the upper hand, but is it enough for victory? You still wounded? You are.
pull axer, pull axer. So both pull axers are over here. They're both in good peasant militias there. I want to see what he does with himself. Okay, he came in over on this side. So I'm going to enter, enter myself there. You are a peasant militia. Militia moved too slowly. See what's going on. You can retreat units and save their lives. That's what's been going on. Get out there, militia.
Oh Jesus. Get going over here. Send out. Nico or a Nico. <coughs> Wedding between Baco Guerrera. RT is doing. Is he still wounded? Duration 16 days, 50% less health and military gun point. Guess Ambar is going. Being accused. Rob a tax caravan. Compensation House Tiro demands that House Pendragon will join them 
informal negotiations to stop the enmity between the two houses. Well, I'm fine with negotiating, I suppose. We'll deny the guilt, but agree to the terms. been sent to uh, da 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 willfully willful Celine Pendragon doesn't obey her escort or even Mako Sabata the escort is petrified what should be done Apologize for Celine Pendragon's behavior. The escort offers a deep apology, accepts it, and Celine Pendragon can stay as planned, but apparently she made a bad first impression. She just keeps spitting them out. The Pendragon... The Pendragon family will be safe. Thanks to Beta Pendragon. She's a baby-making machine. Okay, unmarried family members. Artiz... Artiz? Wait, Artiz is unmarried? Oh, did his wife recently die? Any barons we're relatively friendly with? Kudo, maybe? Courtship? Ortiz. Uh, old and old. You yeah, know. Any courtship to be done here? Ortiz. Oh, here we go. We have arrived at the Isle of Orsa. Ginebra is now elderly. Do we try to get the elderly Ginebra married? What's going on here? Give it a try nonetheless. Oh, 
Eleanor surprises Artiz with an invitation to participate to a luxurious dinner at Sunset in a Rebellion. So every time we've tried to do this whole whisper thing, it's always gone very poorly for us. <clears throat> Compliment the dinner is based off diplomacy. Um, suggested toast is also based off of diplomacy. I'm going to compliment the dinner. <laughs> Artiz tries to compliment Eleanor about the dinner, but some of the compliments that come out of his mouth do not follow etiquette. This creates an awkward atmosphere for the rest of the dinner. Eleanor tries to avoid Ortiz's eyes through the final hours as soon as possible. Eleanor says farewell to him and withdraws into her chambers. Ortiz Pendragon begins gloomy. House Salvatore, House Pendragon, courtship rejected. Uh, House Salvatore, House Pendragon, recent visit. Oh Jesus, look at the time. This video has gotten a little out of hand. Okay, so we are hopefully going to get re-elected to the captain of whatever. Um, we've had a couple of wars in this episode. They were an interesting experience to say the least. A couple of our family members have died of old age and we've we are have a, a line of kids here that are in the process of growing older. Um, Celine, Carme, Ambar. Thought we had more kids than this. Hmm. Is it me or I really thought we had more children? And how are we doing with Ambar's marriage? Have we gotten her married yet? She's going to be a wedding guest. She is not yet married. We need to get her married. Getting getting people married is difficult in this game. Um It it really is. The the marriage events tend to fail more often than they succeed. And it's hard to find someone to even attempt to marry and also your characters are doing stuff so they end up not being available like Amir. Amir keeps going off to to do this and to do that and he's never available to get himself married. It seems to be a very tricky process in this game to, to get characters married. I'm not so sure how I feel about that. Um, ultimately, I feel like The Pendragon line is going to die off, not because of a failure to have kids, but due to a failure of being able to get married in order to have kids, if that makes any sense.
anyway, that's that's how I feel at this point. Uh, I'm James Johnson, a.k.a. Software Blade. Hopefully you're enjoying the content. If so, please smash that like button, consider subscribing, and until the next time, all, peace. <laughs>